Jerry James Stone and you're watching Cooking Stone and today I'm going to share with you one of my personal favorite recipes. I'm, I'm quite content with most everything that I make but this recipe is it's sort of almost what I'm known for like my friends always request it I can never make enough of it and I just make personally I make the best damn guacamole you'll ever have and you're gonna love this so I highly recommend giving this one a try. The key to a really good guacamole is fresh ingredients. And for example, I always use tomatoes that are on the vine. Now, if you get your tomatoes from a farmer's market, they're gonna be fresh, but if you're getting them from the supermarket, you, if you just smell these tomatoes in comparison to um, regular tomatoes that are not on the vine, they're usually a lot more aromatic. Um, I have a how-to video on this. So let's go ahead and cut our avocados, which I also have a how-to video on. So just scoop out that yummy avocado. Now I'm just going to mash it up with a fork. Use a potato mash or whatever. You just want to... I like mine chunky so I don't over mash it. I just want to break it down so I can mix in these amazing ingredients that I have. Now I'm going to add in the ingredients. Add our tomato, our green onion, chopped red onion, cilantro, Love this stuff, right? It's so good. So now we have the tomato, the onion, the cilantro, our serrano chili, and our garlic. We're gonna add in our secret ingredient, which is lime. Now, that might sound like, that might actually sound pretty stupid because obviously there's lime or lemon in guacamole, but the key here is not just the lime juice, it's actually the lime zest. So I'm actually going to zest this lime into the guacamole. The lime zest, what it does is, like I said, guacamole is really about freshness. So having fresh ingredients make it work. It's, um, and this lime zest just sort of adds to that freshness. It adds a quality that you just can't get from the lime juice alone. So I zest this whole lime into our guacamole and this is, it just gives us this like kapow. I mean, it's Amazing, you can't stop eating it. You're gonna down a lot of Coronas with this thing. Now go ahead and juice the lime that we zested. And of course, let's just mix it all together. How amazing does this look? Ugh, I can't wait to eat it. Wait till you see what I'm gonna do with it though. I'm not gonna just put this baby on some chips. Not that, that there's anything wrong with that, but I have a secret plan for this thing that's coming up next that you're gonna love.